What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Wright and today it's time to do Pork Belly Burn-Ins Part 2. Let's get to it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Of course, it's your boy Eddie right here. Today, we've finally been able to get our hands on some pork belly and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into our recipe book and we're gonna give our second try at pork belly burning. So, we've got a whole entire piece of pork belly here. We're gonna glove up, got our associated knives here we're gonna use. We're gonna get this sliced up, got the GMG Jim Boy Prime coming up the temp. We're gonna get them seasoned up. This one's gonna be with a little Ecstasy Rub by Jones EQ, a little Texas oil dust. I'm gonna add a little sprinkle of one of our favorites, which is Elk Creek Hog Knuckle Barbecue Rub over the top. We're gonna start smoking it at 265. Let it ride for about two hours. Then we're gonna pan it, butter it up, brown sugar it up, cover it up. And then once it renders down, we're gonna take it off, sauce it up a little bit, then be our finished product. So let's get to it. All right, got our ends here broken down. We're gonna get rid. We're gonna go ahead and get them seasoned up. Get them into the smoker, which is up to about 265 currently. We'll get them on. We're gonna start the smoking process and get these burn ends loved up. Let's go. All right, we've got the burn ends seasoned up, ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and get them in the smoker. Start the process, getting them rendered down, and then we're gonna pan them after about two, two and a half hours when we check the temp. Butter them up, brown sugar them up, cover them up. Then we may possibly glaze them depending on how they're looking. But uh, yeah. Let's get to it. All right, guys, here you have it. It's most definitely a party of pork on the GMG Jim Boy Prime. It's up to temp over some jack and hickory pellets currently. I'm gonna go ahead and get it rolling. Two hours, gonna come back, check in. Got our uh, guy kick down draft choke down three quarters of the way, a little bit halfway, more like it. We're gonna let this magic roll, man. Stay tuned for the results. A few moments later. All right, we are a stormtrooper. Got our knife, a little bit of butter, a little bit of brown sugar. As you can see, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pull these chunks off, get them in the pan. I don't have a tripod right now, so I'm just kind of giving you the details. Get them in, get the butter on, get the brown sugar on, flow them over, get them back on the GMG Jim Boy Prime for about another two hours. Then we'll come back out and check out. Let's go. All right, open it up so you guys can see. Our full pan is in the GMG Jim Boy Prime. We've got it elevated on the second shelf just to make sure we don't get it too hot over the bottom. We're gonna let this go a little longer than normal because we do have it up higher than normal. We're gonna let this render down in the pan, steam up, and get all nice and good. We'll pull it, take a look at it, and let you guys see what's going on. A few moments later. This is the pan coming right out of the smoker, nice and hot. Let you guys see what we have so far. As you can see, amazing 
rendering already going on with the burn ends. Okay, go ahead and get these sauced up a little bit. When I get these transferred to another smaller pan, I'm gonna get it sauced up a little bit and uh, they're gonna be ready to go. These look amazing, they smell insane. And we're very excited to uh, get these finished up. So, last step, gonna transfer it to a smaller pan, put a little sauce on, a little bit of love, a little bit of time, so the sauce can set, and they'll be finished. All right, we're gonna get these back on, let the sauce set up. We're gonna call this finished, guys, so stay tuned for more. Well, guys, I couldn't resist. These are fresh out. The caramelization is there, the burn is there, the smoke is all over these. I'm very happy this successfully came out. Way better than the first try. Second time around on a GMG Jumbo Prime, first time around, smoke hollow 44 vertical. This one was way more accurate. Got a few pieces that we ran a little closer to the sun than we wanted to, but end result was every bit of it was amazing again then you have just little love chunks like this just amazing guys as always make sure you like share and subscribe to everything we have going on in the channel and stay tuned for the next thing we have coming up and always remember don't be afraid you too can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.